Hi, so I'm continuing with my Star Wars series, therefore um, one boy asked for A-T-T-E, I had no idea what that was, so I had to look it up a lot. And then um, I took advantage of my mid-journey app to create a few ideas because I was so confused. It was that a dog, I had no idea about the size. I have not seen the movie, so judge me on that, but I'm not a... I mean, I haven't had the fever of Star Wars when it all started, and now there's so many movies that they're just confusing to me. So, yep, I think thanks to my journey, I generated a few ideas, and then I had more or less an idea of what it, this should look like. And, um, yep. Yeah. It was pretty much fun. Uh, it took me longer than BB-8 and R2-D2 just because R2-D2, I've seen it. I've seen the first movies, so I knew it already. And BB-8, thanks to my fiancé, uh, we went on Christmas Day and we watched the movie where it first appeared. And I thought, oh my god, that's such a cute droid. So... There were no problems there. I already knew what they would look like, how they should feel, more or less, uh, their mobility. But when it comes to this one, I've never seen it. And I have no idea how big it was or what, what it was supposed to be. If you ask me, it looks like a dog when you first look at it or like an insect. It's kind of a hybrid between a dog and an insect. It reminds me very much of um, that episode in Black Mirror, the, the episode that is black and white. I don't know if you guys are fans of it, but that gave me the creeps. So it took me a while to grasp the idea of an ATT. Even so, I'm still like every time I would pick up the brush to put a new layer of paint, uh, those droids from black mirror would just pop into my head um so that was kind of uh traumatic but i ended up finishing it um the the boy who asked for this is quite happy with uh, how it turned out so i'm okay with that um as far as colors i pretty much used oranges browns and blues um a little bit of red that was probably the only new addition to the other Star Wars related paintings for now I'm gonna take a break because Inktober is starting soon and I plan on participating maybe I'm not gonna participate on every single one of them but I'll try my best because I do like the prompts this year I think they're quite fun so yeah and as you can see I already use ink well, I use brush pens in almost all my watercolor drawings as far as when it comes to droids and animals and like not people, not faces. So, yep, this was pretty much it. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.